This is manual punch video number four. Uh, we're going to do the thimble. I'll start by zooming the object up so I can see it. Okay. And then I'll right click cancel that zoom tool. Then I'm going to left click on the circle tool here. And I'm going to select a color. Good old standby gray here, or silver gray. And now I'm going to start to put a vo uh, an oval in here I know from experience that when I have a horizontal oval like this is that I can envision a line going horizontally intersecting another line going vertically here about at that intersection which is just about there pretty close to there I can hold the mouse button down and then hold the control control key down and drag that thing and I'll fill that area pretty much with a oval just the right size well fairly close to the right size I'll make it just a little bit yeah I'm off on the other end a little bit but I'm gonna release it there and now I'm gonna double right click to cancel that tool and now I'm gonna go back to the outline view where I can position that circle a little bit more I'm gonna left click that thing and I'm gonna use the left mouse button to move it over a little bit and up a little bit and have it positioned just exactly where I want it I'm finished with that now I'll generate stitches to lock that in good now I'm gonna go back to the outline view because I like to work on the outline view when I'm creating stitches that want to match where I want to match them right so now I'm gonna use the create freehand area uh, and I'm going to create uh, the bottom part of this and after I get it completed then I'll uh, divide it into two pieces but first I'll do this I'm going to left click right there at the end of the oval I'm going to drag a line all the way down then I'm going to start punching a curve here pretty sharp curve to start with and you see the image pans down or up the image pans up pans up so that uh, I can finish the rest of the object that wasn't on the screen and then I'm going to zoom all the way up to the top like this and catch the other end of that oval like that and then I'm going to put a line across I don't have to have it along I really don't have to put a line across there at all it'll, it'll jump and, but I did uh, now I can double right click to cancel that I can right click to, uh, to grab this again and then I can go to the outline view come down to create a void I right click to get the tool list guys and you see me do it out of this generate stitches ah didn't get the gray again but that's okay I can uh, I've canceled the manual tool so I'm not gonna have any problems doing this yeah I think I can just do this can I there you go now now it's there now I'm gonna go back to the outline view and and cut this thing the way I want let me explain that once I get there I need to uh, yeah, I need to right click and put it in the edit mode where I can see where I'm going here uh, a true thimble and I have one here in front of me I happen to belong to my mother uh, has the knurled section uh, at the top about 60% of the way down 60-70% of the way from the top to the bottom and so I'm going to try to duplicate that uh, this is not what a thimble looks like uh, so to start with I'm going to start about here first I gotta have the tool <laughs> divide with a curve it's the tool I want to use start about here left click to start Pretty close, probably close enough. Uh, and 
I hit the enter key to, to lock that in uh, and now I'm gonna reach over oh, I gotta double click to, uh, oh, this one I can't I gotta hit the escape key to cancel that particular tool then I click the go button and it generated stitches for me now I want to put a neural section on this top one up here uh, I'm gonna go to stitch settings that's another way to get the stitch settings, guys. Right click and hit the get them, hit the stitch setting line on the menu there. I'm gonna go to oops, I really want to go to complex, change it to a complex stitch type first, then go to complex tab. I want about 45 degrees here, and I want smooth edges. I also want a particular pattern. I want a four pair pattern to replicate that neural section. and uh, okay that and there it is uh, we'll move in and out tags later and <laughs> I had this piece selected too so I got it in both sections but I want this section down here to be different I'll right click select it by itself I forgot to do that before I go before I did that but uh, now I'm going to go to complex basic oh, I did okay complex icon Oh, I got that done when I go when both of them are selected. And here, I know from experience since I've done this before, 79 degrees. You didn't think I did these without practice, did you? <laughs> okay. Uh, 79 degrees, and I want a pattern uh, of 0, 67, 33. That's the stitch points in the pattern, okay? And that is the basic default pattern in the program, but for some reason it was never put in here so I save my own copy of it okay so I don't have to go over and change the numbers when I want to do this and okay and okay and it gives me more of a smooth look down here compared to this okay at the top section up here uh, I'll left click that select it go to com complex again I think I want to put that 45 degrees also uh, smooth edges and pattern I want a two pair there okay okay and that's what I want now I can and I'm really short of time but we're gonna try to put this section on the bottom down here too but let's get it up to where I can see it Okay, and now I'm going to go to the outline view so I can see what I'm doing better. And I'm going to start punching this thing uh, with the uh, Create Freehand Area tool. I'm going to wrap this thing around like this just a little bit. I'm putting a, a normal looking roll on the bottom of it. Roll, R O L L. I'm going to stop right there and hit the enter key and let you see you guys see what happens there. See that? Boy, oh, it did go to a little bit of a die dove, but that's okay. It worked. Now I need to uh, double right click to cancel the mouse, change the color here. I'm just going to do this. There you go. Now I got the gray. But I did it after I canceled the tool, okay? That's a key factor. Outline view, right click on that, create a void using the Void using existing area. Uh, there we go, and generate, and I get an auto judge satin fill there. And we've got that thimble all done, but we haven't got all the stitch types set up the way I want them. Uh, stitch types, the uh, uh, ins and outs the way I want them. Uh, I want this out over here. I think I'm going to run out of time, but we'll see. And I want that end up there, and I want the out tag over here. Whoa! See that? Move. I gotta stop this, guys. I'll finish up later.